Have you guys heard about the latest in UFOlogy? Forest, uh, the, the, Pat? I, I think I've just seen the Vegas stuff on social media, right? Okay, like, so the there... Vegas stuff was put out there to different? distract you from the real thing that's happening. Oh boy, there is a tell guy us. who came out who is a top intelligence official. He's a 36 year old guy. His name's David Grush, I believe, something like was that. that the guy he on looked Rogan? that up to find. He <laughs> has not been on Rogan yet, but he's talked about it. David yeah, Grush, and, and, yep. and okay. he, this guy, so this guy is just like bumped up to the ranks. That that guy is uh what what's his name, Pat? The guy that was on Rogan? David Grush. Oh no, no, Ryan no, no. Graves. Ryan Graves. It was like that's the guy you're thinking of, Forrest. This guy just like put himself up into the top five with him in okay. legitimate people who are coming out and whistleblowing basically the fact that the US government and other governments have recovered crash crashed uh alien crafts. They don't say alien crafts they call them uap by the way they used to be U ufo that they're trying to legitimize and when i say they like the government legitimize the fact that they have had a secret program for basically since the 40s where they've been recovering and i know it sounds crazy but i think a lot of people who are watching this are going to look this up or they already know there's people who are coming out now who are legitimate intelligence officials and he's saying that he has first, uh, not first person accounts, but the accounts of other people high up in intelligence that uh, that have come to him and basically told him that this is 100 percent a thing. This is that this is the, these crafts we have. We have re we've recovered down crafts. Some of them have had alien bodies in them. This is crazy. I know well, he, it's crazy. He worked for whatever right. the government okay. agency was that was supposed to be reporting this stuff to Congress, and he also said that this is this was all it. They were instructed to illegally keep it from Congress. So that's great point. So that particular part of it is so, and he's a whistleblower. The the, the Congress just passed a law that said that anybody who has knowledge on the UAP situation, which is basically UFOs. Are allowed they they can basically have What's protection. A UAP? So I know you call, said it's like a, a UFO. unidentified UAP. aerial phenomenon. Yeah. When did that become a thing? Two exactly. Years ago. Two or By three the way, years ago. exactly. Once they started trying, like once they started legitimizing it. Remember when they came out with that Navy footage or from the from the Air Force or the Navy or whatever, where they were so, tracking. Okay. Uh, they were so tracking. What's the takeaway crafts. here, Peter? What's the takeaway here? Well, I'm, so, I'm not so, trying to be a jerk. I just honestly like. So you're saying that. <laughs> Intelligence officers mm. have like like real credited people as high up in the military are coming mm. out and saying, yes, we've seen these UFOs, UAPs, whatever it is, and we know what they are and nobody's listening to us. Is that what's going on? Basically, but let me stop you there, because what Pat sure. just said was the, the important point is that uh, they've been prevented from reporting to the agency, which is called ARRO, A-R-R-O-O, A-R-R-O that they're supposed to report to uh, about the UAPs. Like, this was a law that was put into place. And so basically what's happening is they're being told to lie about what they actually know and what they've investigated and researched and, and found out. And this guy is saying, hey, he's like, they told me that I can't tell them the truth. And then, wow. uh, yeah. yeah. And so, so like, he, that's where, where the, the crazy part comes. So Congress he's gonna have is now a, getting involved. He's now, yeah. He's mm -hmm. going to have, Grush is now going to have a hearing in the Senate in front of some senators to talk about it. Uh, yeah. It's all very intriguing. I oh, mean, dude, so, yeah. you know, sorry, go ahead. It feels like it's like probably stuff we all thought was quite possible. And now you just have a series of people coming out with legitimacy saying, Oh no, it's a fact. Like we have downed craft that we don't know what the origin is. Some of them had like corpses or bodies. It's intriguing. Your 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 field of study for us could change quite drastically in the next uh, uh, year or two. Well, well, and that's kind uh, of what I wanted to get into. Okay, because I was you dude, know before you do, can I just make yeah. a joke that's a reference to like podcast twelve, and we're on like podcast seven thousand. Um, <laughs> remember we? Uh, I don't know how to make the joke now, but remember we always discuss like if you could pack up and head into space and land on a new oh, planet yeah. and like, you know, be the biologist, would you sign me up? 
Because I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm doing that. That's what I want to do. I want to go see old life. If you can be the alien biologist, this is what I'm pushing for on this podcast right <laughs> now. I'm telling you right TV now. TV presenter for this I, yeah, we we'll get the first crack. Yes, at the I am alien not court. just a, some fucking nut. Like I, I used to be you a are. nut with the conspiracy <laughs> theories and shit, but. I've grown I've grown older. I have a kid. I have a family. Like I but this is fucking real. This is some guy that would not throw away his 14, 15 year career to just come out and say some crazy shit. He's got a full <laughs> interview. It's on uh, News Nation or YouTube. His name is Alan Grush. Watch this interview, whether you believe okay. him or not. There's no fucking reason this guy would lie. And this is one of the threads that has stayed consistent throughout all of the conspiracy <laughs> theories that have come from the 40s, starting with the oh, the first recovered craft uh, at Roswell. And yeah. the other thing that he says is that there is a huge, huge disinformation campaign that's been going on for 80 <laughs> fucking years, where what they're doing, and when I say they're, I'm talking about, uh, well, government. he's talking about agencies within the government that are taking yep. our tax dollars with, with a black budget who are not reporting to anybody that we vote for and they're taking them like a lot of our money and they are spending it on these recovery missions and then also spending it on covering it up and pushing out misinformation to muddy the okay. waters to but muddy let me, the let waters. me ask you this because yeah. there's part of me that goes i'm glad they're spending our tax money on money on recovering this stuff and studying it that's mm -hmm. good sure now the thing that you have a problem with is that we're not being told about it Informed. because we generally right. just want to know out right. of curiosity <laughs> well that's but what, what do you think happens for me what do you think the feeling that you Forrest? let's start with you yeah the feeling you have if they if if president biden calls an emergency press conference and sits down and says you know we looked into grush's stuff it is true here's pictures here's what the scientist that we've deputized says about it he comes on and goes it only shares, you know, 20% of its chromosomes with human, you know, human mammals. Um, we can't even identify the other chromosomes. We don't know, blah, blah, blah. Right. And it's, and it's all legitimate and it's on TV and the whole world knows about it. How do you feel about that for us? This happens, let's say one week from today. I'm stoked. I don't have a problem with it. <laughs> I mean, I think, I mean, wouldn't you be like, I'd be like, okay, you know, I feel like this has been a long time coming. I'm glad that we're finally admitting to it you know, what's next? Is there a field of science that yes. we're opening up around it? Like, are that's there people the getting issue. in? You know, like, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I, I, I don't, I hate the, you know, now here's, here's the, here's the kicker. I don't mean to derail your point, Patrick. That's okay. But oh, no. President Biden that's in the same sentence goes, and they're hostile, right? Or something like that. Of course. It's like, there's the kicker, right? Because that's when it becomes panic and chaos and People get scared and they start arming themselves and they're shooting each other in the night because they think an alien landed on their roof or whatever, right? Like that's right. that's where chaos comes in. If it's just like, hey, we know there are other organisms, you know, we don't know how advanced they are, we don't know much about it. We're opening up a field of study. We're bringing in physicists, biologists, academics, blah blah blah. Like I'm like, great. Like now I really want to follow along. It's no different to you know, oh, we discovered a coelacanth for the first time in 66 right. million years. Like great, right. I want to know all about it. Where has it been? How come we haven't found it? You know, it's like. I don't the hostility part and the like not understanding sort of their abilities, I think, is where people will get scared. But I'm I wouldn't right. be scared about it. I'd be stoked. So, so uh, you know, I agree with you 100 percent for us. And I mean, I think this is part of the problem. And I think it's what part of what Grush is saying with the different disinformation campaign. It's so easy to fake this information and, and, and muddy the waters when the real information comes out. That it's like <clears throat> they, the government, they want and they need control to speak to your point, Pat. I, I think that this should come out through Congress, uh, through all they're, they're talking about unclassifying or, or go, reading these classified documents that have existed. But I definitely think that through the chain of command or whatever, and they can decide how they want to release it, but it should be the truth about this because you're talking about alien technologies that could literally solve the problem of energy crisis across the world. Like people don't need gasoline. This is, and I'm not going to get into the whole conspiracy about it and everything. I bet you do. I'm I not bet going you to. Do, yeah. <laughs> but I will say like, there should be that. That's why this guy is so important. This 
David Grush is coming out and he's talking about going through the appropriate channels. He's not sure. releasing any classified information and he's talking to Congress yeah. and whistleblowing that the people who set up RO, ARRO are holding back and intentionally not investigating how they should be and, and getting the facts no, no, that are it's, actually it's out there. It's not that they're not investigating. It's that they're not reporting it to the, to the appropriate there is no chain of command, right? There's some shadowy thing that's happening where they're supposed to report to Congress and they're not. <laughs> but I did text Peter this, Forrest, when the Grush thing first came out. I said, well, this sort of explains how all of a sudden, like we very, we had a lot of the same sort of brick and mortar type technology of you, yeah. had, a, you had a land phone, the internet didn't you exist. You hand cranked your car. And very quickly <laughs> we had internet, Wi-Fi, the and transistor Bluetooth. like we Dude. had all this shit very quickly i'm like oh that could that could explain it how how we figured like out as wi-fi that was alien technology yeah, well, just some shit they, they ripped off the craft. craft yeah 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 so i mean I, I, all right I, I, well what would you think if they came the same scenario biden comes out and he says look they're here here's what they look they're like friendly they're yeah. not here for any other reason we figured it out there was data that we recovered of what their mission was and has been since they 1940 and it's just it, they they're just coming to get a lot of food from mcdonald's <laughs> i'd be queuing but up they, at mickey d's to check them out that's for sure i yeah. legit buy a they mickey really d's like franchise it. with all of my money right now open to aliens <laughs> yeah you put a landing pad on top <laughs> Smart. Yes. Really I smart. I don't care that it cost a million for a mickey d's franchise <laughs> I, all my funds are going to it <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just thought I should bring it up, man. I do. I I love the fact that you interjected some some <laughs> actual fact factual uh, questions for Forrest into this bat. But I'm I mean, really excited, yeah. and that's all it's I'm saying. Cool. It's not my it's thing, cool. but it's cool. I mean, it's interesting. I look at some point, it's all going to come out, right? Whatever yes. it is, if it hasn't already. In fact, it it has right. already. And there is a something. You just don't right? know who to believe because of this yes. misinformation campaign and yes. all of that it's already out there you just don't know correct how much right. you can believe and i think the biggest swear for me i've always, i think quite frankly you're pretty dumb if you don't believe there's other life in the universe right like that's yeah. my opinion whether right. there's other life in the universe it's little green men that are capable of this crazy technology i don't know about that but like you're pretty <laughs> yeah. dumb if you don't believe that there's other life in the universe in my opinion Sure. The thing for me that was like, wow, there really is some merit to this sort of like alien technology stuff is I and I, I don't listen to a lot of Joe Rogan podcasts. I just don't have the time for it. But I listened to the Bob Lazar one uh -huh. where Bob oh, Lazar yeah. went on the show and you just listen to the way that he lays out the information. You listen to his reasoning behind it, his whole story. And he's like, I just he's like the only reason I'm telling people this is not because I want is like I, it's not, I don't want fame. It's like this is keeping me alive. By telling people this otherwise they would have just silenced me by now and it's like mm -hmm. it makes sense like when you put yourself in the public eye like that you know people can label you a, a lunatic but it makes sense that that's his way of staying alive and just the stories he tells and everything i'm like this is the first time i've ever genuinely believed somebody that they've like seen alien technology and blah 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 blah. but um, absolutely we'll anyway, put a link to the to bob lazar video in there dude I mean, listen, yeah, we should. You, yeah. you, you've, you've re-sparked it. I'm sorry. I was trying to move away from it. But the Bob Lazar story is essentially he is saying that he worked as an engineer on uh, uh, on reverse engineering technology from the craft. So all That's I'm right. saying right. is, is Grush right. is coming out and he's saying that there was a program that retrieved crash or uh, retrieved these uh, these crashes. And, and Lazar back in, in the 70s uh, and all consistently until the 90s to Joe Rogan has said that his story has been the same. He, they hired him to work on the, and reverse engineer the technology from these alien craft. So that's, aside that's from aliens and everything else, the, <laughs> recovering the craft, I mean, I don't think it's a leap. I, I, I'm just saying. 